a cast iron pot out and just out out packed unprotected not not outside but you can see we got some rust on here I'm gonna try to just dissolve the rust with vinegar uh, like I do when I get a circuit board that's been immersed in water and kind of rusty some things you can just use a uh, vinegar to clean it up so before I go out there and destroy my my seasoning what I have on here I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and uh, get the rust out with, with uh, distilled vinegar so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run it under hot water and um, we get some uh, Reynolds wrap here some aluminum foil and uh, use that to uh, scrub it a little bit under hot water and just remove the surface rust that we can anyway doesn't look like it's that deep that might be deep I don't know we'll see so let's see, let's do that now let's go ahead and do that okay so we're going to run the hot water I got it hot I'm going to run that let's see yeah some of that's uh, not surface rust I mean, it kind of is, but not, not really. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. We've got the hot water running. Should, I don't want to use soap, so I'm not going to. I don't want to use a wire wheel brush and undo everything. But we're going to use a lemon foil. Just like when we clean, clean the rust off the bumper. Uh, so there's, there's the extra water out. Throwing a little bit of water in there. So, sometimes I use salt, but yeah, let's use some salt. Hold on. All right, and my salt. Use some salt here. <clears throat> sea salt will be much better, but I don't have any. Well, actually, sea salt. I'm gonna use oil. Would be better. This doesn't really matter. Let's get in here and see. All right, let's see where we go, where we are now. More hot water. Looks like that baking salt I made, huh? Well, I pretty much took care of it. I just, I'm oh, sorry, I took care of it. Got my seasoning in it. Huh. Let me uh let me dry something we'll see where we're at. Alright. As you can see that took all the rust off, but there's just a little tiny bit here. Just just a little tiny bit. That could be gotten with by just scrubbing, but we're just going to use the white vinegar instead. Or if it says white vinegar. Distilled white vinegar. I got that set in there. Uh, you can heat it. Sometimes that would be better. That's pretty much it. This won't affect the carbon. Or shouldn't affect the carbon, let's say. But, you know, it smells like I'm running to the coffee pot in the house. So we'll just let this set for a couple hours. Go over this way. We'll let that set for a couple hours. And uh, it'll be gone. It'll be clean. Be all good to go. So I'll be back in a couple hours and I'll show you the difference. Okay. So as you can see, it looks pretty good in there. Um, just a slight film on the top here where it's... Uh, dissolved everything uh, it's been a couple hours two hours where I said a little more than two hours um, I can see where you know got a little bit beyond the room here so you need my coating in there but as you can see all the rust is now gone what we're gonna do I'm gonna take and uh, run some more tin foil through there and some water and then we're gonna go ahead and season it so let me go ahead and do that real quick and let me, let, well actually let me film that. We're going to run out of hot water and just drain this. Okay, I just rinsed it off. There's still some vinegar in there. Pour some more salt in there. So we have our abrasive. We're going to go over here and just finish it up. Oops.
All right. So I went ahead and dried it. As you can see, the vinegar cleaned up this area. Clean more than I wanted, actually, but that's fine. Back then to steel down there, cast iron. Iron. We're going to thoroughly dry it. We're going to put it on the stove and heat it up. And we're going to be using olive oil. Oh no, I guess we're using avocado oil. Alright, let me be back. Let me check, check the smoke temperature on that. I thought it was olive oil. I'll be right back. Okay, avocado is a 520 degree Fahrenheit. Better yet. See, the hotter we can do this, the better. Basically, uh, metal expands. I think cast iron expands. What? A thou per 100 degrees? So, we got uh, like 500 something per avocado. So, we'll still put it on 350. I think we'll go ahead and raise it to maybe 400. Yeah, there's 400. And we'll go ahead and season this. First, I'll put it on the skillet, on the uh, stove, I mean. And uh, heat it up to force all the moisture out. But the higher the temperature, the more the pores will open and seep in better. So let me get over here to the stove and heat it up. And I'll apply the first coating inside. Okay, so it's on the stove. It's hot. We're going to use the avocado oil. Starting to smoke. Let's go ahead and smear that around. Did that start filming? Yes, I did. So, let's turn that around. Okay, everything is oiled up now. We're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees. And we're going to do this three times. So, let me just put it in the oven off camera because i got to move everything. But, and we're going to set it up for 30 minutes. And then, re-lube and re-oil again. And be sure to oil the bottom and everything. This oil is kind of a thin coat, so I don't have uh, drip pans in there, but that's fine. So I'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, it's been 30 minutes. As you can see, it's starting to, to brown. We're going to add some more on there. And just repeat uh, two more times, for a total of three times. And then uh, for the final one is I'll coat the bottom and then just let it set. I'll heat it up. And just let it set, you know, and let it cool down naturally. So let me go ahead and get this stuff in there, and uh, I'll be back in another 30 minutes. So I got some oil left here. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply uh, and re uh, coat, I guess. So it's getting slick. You can see it's changing color again. As we're building a thick, thick aura on it, not not aura, but a thick uh, coating. I can literally see it moving back there. I'll do that. That shows up. It's cool. But we're just on the verge of smoking. It's just getting a little bit smoky in there. So let me go ahead and put it in again. Another 30 minutes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out. We're going to put some fresh oil in there. And then just let it cool off. And then the next day we'll get rid of that oil, what's left, and just be happy and start using it. So, I'll be back in another 30 minutes. So here we are. That's the third time. Um, just came out. Put a little smoke in there. So, we're just going to pour some more oil in and, and uh, let it cool off. Alright. Pour in the pour avocado. Give a little thick coating like that. And we're gonna swirl that around or yeah I guess well no I guess we'll we'll use the uh no we'll swirl it around. Put this on and I'll re uh re uh apply to the handle here. And that's it. Um let it cool down, and uh, that's it, guys. It's more on the handle there. All right, that's it, everybody. This that's how you season the pot, and uh, or not the pot, the cast uh, cast iron skillet uh, from rust removal and reseasoning. That's very slick when I run the towel over it. So we're good to go. It's all done now. Uh, so, so hot. <laughs>
I heated it back up to finish it off. Not necessary, but I just wanted to dry. I got the rest of the oil off. Even though it's still smoking, you can still grab them with your bare hand. For a while, I have a sleeve, but that's it. Uh, it's all done now. It's all doesn't look smooth, but it is. So there you go. This is NCP, and that is a seasoned cast iron. I'll let it cool off now, but nothing will change. But <clears throat> we're all done now. Reseasoned everything. And they'll even out as I cook on it tomorrow and stuff. <clears throat> but there you go. Uh, clean and reseason cast iron. Easy method with, you know, with uh, white vinegar. Just seems to solve rust. So there you go. All right, have a good one, everybody. I'll get this edited and I'll get it tomorrow morning, I think. All right, NCP out. Have a great one.